Nigerian 13 year old boy sentenced to 10 years in jail for blasphemy. Hashtag blasphemy is not a crime. Um, in Nigeria, a Nigerian Sharia court has sentenced a 13 year old boy to 10 years in jail for blasphemy. Quote, he was having an argument with a friend and uttered some blasphemy, reports Africa correspondent J.J. Cornish. This correspondent added, this happened in Kano, one of the 13 Nigerian states with Sharia law that allows for death, amputation, and flogging. The United Nations has condemned the sentence, saying it breaks multiple conventions on the rights of children, including the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, which Nigeria ratified almost 20 years ago. So I wanted to add one more thing to this story. Um, he was, shoot, where was it? He was tried, oh yeah, so this boy's name is uh, um, Farouk. Um, shoot, where's his first name? Omar well, Farouk. Mm -hmm. And um, Farouk was tried as an adult because he had attained puberty and has full responsibility under Islamic law. What the fuck? I thought you had to be 15 to be responsible for your sins in Islam. Depends on, depends on the sect, okay? So in Iran, 15 is like, it seems like a hard cut 15, okay? But um, other places, they say like, as soon as you have pubic hair, you're an adult. And I think that was possibly the situation, which is disgusting. Because in Judaism, it's 13 for boys, so... Hmm. But um, that's across the board. I just... I I don't know. I guess maybe from was your it, story, was this a, I, Was this a Sharia uh, court? Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. So in Nigeria, yeah. we have different laws for different people, which is absolute horseshit. Um, and, okay, so what was the blasphemy? Again, not that it matters, but what was she it? She was accused of using foul language towards Allah in an argument with a friend. Hmm. And if he, it's our understanding that if he was like a Christian, so this guy is, has a Muslim upbringing, right? Presumably. But if, yes. Yeah, but if he was a Christian and said the exact same things in Nigeria, he probably wouldn't have faced the same consequences. Is that correct? Is that their understanding? Unless yeah. he chose okay. to be in Sharia court, but who would do that? Yeah, right? exactly. Because a non-Muslim can choose which court they want their case to be heard in. And so why would anyone choose Sharia court right. when you could potentially be and, sentenced? But to... he, but the Muslim, but the people with the Muslim upbringing, they can't, they don't get to choose that, yep. right? Even if they leave Islam, it doesn't really matter, right? Like they, I mean, can I mean, if it, if you're if you're from a Muslim upbringing, the Sharia court it is. Um, so ten years. Well, they wouldn't fine? recognize them leaving anyway. So yeah, they wouldn't recognize them. One, yeah. Uh, so ten years in prison and how many lashes? Um, I didn't say anything about lashes for this child. Um, however, it is known that flogging and amputation does happen in Kano. Mm. So that's what I was talking about. Like, is it does happen in that state. In the, is the 10-year final? Um, meaning, like, it won't be reduced or won't be increased? No, like, this or is appealed like a, or... Is this, like, a done? Like, now the... the come out with the sentencing and it's basically like final like is there there's no appeal process um that is not completely clear based on the articles i've seen if there are um further appeals that he could take um mm -hmm. the news article that i'm reading in cnn is saying that um he's been denied access to his counsel wow Okay. to be an uh, evolving theme with Bubarak Bala with um, uh, I think his name is Yusuf Aminu who was a Muslim um, singer accused of blasphemy sentenced to death for blasphemy recently and now there is the case of this 13 year old boy um, Omar Farouk um, and um, the lawyer said that his this child's mom even had to move. She had to flee the town that she was living in because of the mob going after her because of this alleged blasphemy against Allah that 
this kid said when he was angry. Like, I can't fuck, imagine. Fuck Allah, everybody. Repeat after me. <laughs> fuck Allah. Fuck <laughs> Islam. <laughs> and fuck Muhammad. <laughs> Guys, take advantage of your freedom. Yes. And, you know, do blaspheme. If you're free, then blaspheme to just make sure that we desecrate. The what is it called? This desensitize, desensitize, desecrate, and yeah, basically take take all of this nonsense. Again, these people that are so butthurt over just mere words need to be more exposed to these words, mm -hmm. so that you know, because, so that they see like, hey, look, nothing happens. Like, fuck Allah, fuck your Allah, fuck your Allah, <laughs> right up his if, ass. If <laughs> Yahweh and the Holy Ghost and Allah, whatever, really are supreme beings then what a human being says about them matters not so it's so but, ridiculous but even if it did matter even if it did matter to them fuck Allah even in that case well, who cares <laughs> right i mean fuck Allah even more in that case because he deserves to be annoyed with us <laughs> wait i have one more thing so um we're talking about appeals process unicef UNICEF has called on the Nigerian government and the Kano state government to urgently review the case and reverse the sentence, the organization said in a statement. So um, because this person is a child, I think this is getting a lot more um, attention than just the case of Mubarak Bala and the case of um, Aminu. Um, and so although Mubarak Bala, I know, um, is getting attention from Amnesty International. I believe Aminu um, is as well. Um, don't quote me on that about Aminu, though. Um, and so I'm glad that this is being highlighted, and I'm glad that um, the the more sentences they continue to bring forth for blasphemy, like it just gives us more and more to highlight, right? It gives us more and more to go after. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to highlight um, the work of Maryam Namazi and her One Law for All campaign. So um, the Maryam Namazi, this is a campaign that she's been doing for many years, and it's kind of the idea of there should not be separate laws under Sharia courts, right? One law for all, and we want that law to be secularized. Um, we should not hold different people to different standards under the law based on any given confessional faith that they hold. And so um, One Law for All recently put out a press release in support of Nigerian society, in, in support of Nigerian civil society initiatives against death penalty and blasphemy laws. So um, thank you to Mariam Namazi for creating this press release and um, drawing all these cases together. So in this case, she's um, talking about Mubarak Bala, the president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria. We still don't know if he's alive, um, arrested in April, been held incommunicado for well over 100 days. And then ah, his name is uh, Yahya Aminu Sharif. Yahya. Yahya. Um, Aminu Sharif, and he is the uh, Nigerian singer who is a Muslim being sentenced to death for blasphemy, and as well as Amor, Amar um, Farouk, who is this 13-year-old boy. And so as part of um, this press release and campaign that they're doing to call attention to um, One Law for All, they have put out a petition in support of these three individuals. So in the description of this video under the news item, and this is news item number eight, you can see the link to a petition I um, put. And this is for Free Mubarak Bala, Yahya Aminu Sharif, and Umar Farouk. Um, and um, this is, again, a part of One Law for All and also Mary Namazi's Blasphemy is Not a Crime campaign. So please, right, right. Yeah, link please in the go check out that. that petition. Link is in the description. Um, it's really important that we stand with individuals accused of alleged blasphemy, whether they are um, secularist, atheist, minority sect, any, anything, right? Um, it's it's. It's not a crime. It's a right. I think blasphemy is, an, in fact, an imperative, personally. Uh, and um, so if you are also a blasphemy yes. and atheist, please sign that petition. 
All right, link in the description. Anyways, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 